Civil engineers are the architects of this world, they design, construct, supervise, operate, and maintain construction projects. That includes roads, buildings, airports, tunnels, dams, bridges, and systems for water supply and sewage treatment. If you are an aspiring civil architect, here are the 10 movies that inspire you to become a civil engineer. Let's get started. Number 10. Belly of an Architect. The Belly of an Architect is a 1987 film drama, written and directed by Peter Greenaway. Sturley Cracklight, an architect, comes from Chicago to Rome to curate an exhibition dedicated to his favorite architect, Etienne Louis Belly. From then, movie explores the relationship between the city and the monuments. The fertile ideas and the role of the architect, who keeps distinguishing the design from the construction. Number 9. Sidewalls. Sidewalls represent the walls that stand between people of urban centers, preventing them from communication. Martin lives alone in an apartment in Buenos Aires, taking care of his dog, making a living out of web design. Mariana lives in the building next door decorating shops with mannequin dolls, as she was never able to work as an architect. While they live next to each other, they have never met. Starting from these two stories, this film focuses on recording the loneliness, sense of isolation, the lack of uniqueness into the crowd which are prevalent in modern-day society. Number 8. Life Out of Balance. Directed by Godfrey Reggio and with the beautiful soundtrack of Philip Glass, it is an impressive visual and acoustic experience, trying to alert us to the environmental dangers caused by human beings. This film has one idea. A simplistic one. It contrasts the glory of nature with the mess made by Homo sapiens. Number 7. Dark City. Dark City by Alex Proyas presents to us a false world, trying to fabricate ideal societies that are doomed to fail when a free spirit person starts questioning the things that surround him. In this city with no light, human memories are fabricated from the beginning when the clock shows midnight. This is an experiment held by the strangers who have collected a group of people in an artificial society to study them. Number 6. The Infinite Happiness. The film spotlights the work of Danish architect, Jark Ingels, and his innovative aid housing development in Copenhagen. Instead of interviewing the architect on his projects and work, filmmakers prefer to follow the life of the residents of this community, who share their stories and experiences of living in this new space. Number 5. Still Life. A town in Fengji County is gradually being demolished and flooded to make way for the Three Gorges Dam. A man and a woman visit the town to locate their estranged spouses and become witness to the societal changes. Fengji is gradually vanishing underwater, forming a new changing landscape, filled with the spiritual drowning of its inhabitants, who see their place disappearing from one moment to another. Number 4. 24 City. 24 City is a 2008 film directed by Chinese filmmaker Jia Zhang Ku. The film follows three generations of characters in Chengdu, in the 1950s, the 1970s and the present, as the factory they are working in will be demolished to give way to a modern apartment complex. The apartment complex featured in the film is an actual development built on the former site of an airplane engine manufacturing facility. Number 3. The Architect. Miles Moss, a man of arrogance, self-centered and obsessed with his work, is hired to design a house for a married couple. Is he building their dream house or his dream masterpiece is the remaining story. Just a light comedy to make us wonder about civil engineering profession and how the world sees them. Number 2. Visual Acoustics. Visual Acoustics celebrates the life and career of Julius Shulman, the world's greatest architectural photographer whose images brought modern architecture to the American mainstream. 
Shulman, who passed away in 2009, captured the work of nearly every modern and progressive architect since the 1930, including Frank Lloyd Wright, Richard Neutra, John Lautner, and Frank Gehry. Number 1. Archiculture. Archiculture examines studio-based design education through the perspective of final-year students. It illustrates the challenges of being a young architect in this fast-growing industry. Interactions and reactions of students portraying the life of architecture students in the studio.